Just in case is the returning reckoning sword available through either depositing fish at the helm or through focusing at the season of the deep vendor. There's a number of good rolls to go for depending on what you want it for, and may become a valuable tool in your arsenal with the upcoming revamps to swords. Firstly, you'll want Tempered Edge pretty much regardless of what purpose you intend for the sword. It has much better ammo economy than Jagged Edge by comparison, and you only lose out on close to 1% of your damage per swing. Next, you should look for either Balanced or Heavy Guard. They'll give you the best spread of your overall guard stats, and the heavy attack on adaptive frame swords isn't particularly strong, so you won't be really hurting for the lower charge rate. From here, the paths diverge a bit. If you're looking for a reliable all-round sword for solar synergy and general use, slot either Unrelenting or Tireless Blade in your third slot, and in the final slot you'll want Incandescent. The kills your Incandescent Scorch and Ignition's cause will trigger Unrelenting, granting you healing while you're knee-deep in your enemies. Or it'll count towards Powered Sword kills with Tireless Blade, refunding more ammo than you'd usually be able to get from it. If you're looking for a sword to set up for raw DPS, hunt for Relentless Strikes and Whirlwind Blade. Generally, you'll just want to spam the sword's light attack during DPS, and Relentless Strikes will feed you back ammo every third hit as Whirlwind Blade ramps up your damage by 30% at max stacks. Whatever form you choose to take with your god roll, I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy.